So I just woke up to a bunch of snow on the ground, which I didn't entirely anticipate given that it was 63 degrees yesterday, but I gotta head to my PO box. So out, out into the snow we go. Look at all this guys. Look at all this snow. All right, my dears, this is what we're working with today. Jackson is gonna come home to a bunch of new cat stuff and I am very excited. There are some new brands here that I've never tried. There are some ones that I adore. And yeah, we're gonna have fun. Gandalf is already very excited as she should be and I'm sure that any moment now, Dave is gonna start shredding the cardboard. He does that all the time. He doesn't eat it, he just shreds it. It's very odd. Just so you guys know, all of these products were gifted to me by brands and I am not being paid to recommend them or say anything any which way about any of them. So all opinions to come are my own for better or for worse. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with Catbox. I am excited about this one because I've heard about Catbox and they donate 10% of their profits to small cat shelters. I'm always, always excited to try things that benefit a good cause. All right, big reveal. This is what it looks like inside. Hi, Natia, Gandalf, and Dave. Ooh, our theme is movie night. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Each of these boxes comes with two treats and three toys. Let's see what we've got. For the edible goodies, we've got lickable treats. Amazing, love that. And then catnip and chill crunch cat treats. Try to say that five times fast. I'm not going to. And then for the toys, we've got three plush toys, all movie themed, of course. Movie glasses, a little projector reel, and popcorn. These are so cute. And I'm also realizing that I haven't been to the movies in, I, I don't even know how long, so long. Cat oh, <laughs> catnip and chill. Like Netflix and chill, but better. All right, hi, pumpkin. Hi. Ready? Oh, good girl. All right. Good girl. You want yours, bud? Buddy. Oh, good boy. Oh, Gandalf likes them. She doesn't like a whole lot of treats, but... Usually, as far as, like, hard, crunchy treats go, Gandalf isn't... She could kind of, like, take it or leave it. She's, she, oh, she's licking my finger. She really likes these. Do you want another one? Yeah, good girl. Natia and Dave are, oh, good boy. They are easier to impress, but Gandalf is not. Gandalf is not. Okay, and this is for, oh, hi. This is from Shameless Pets. And over 20% of this formula is made with upcycled ingredients. I love that. Get it, come on, good girl. Oh, I didn't realize she was, everybody, go get it. Dave, that, it just hit him in the face. What about this? I'm sorry, that is so cute. Okay, again, guys, this is Catbox. Love it. I don't know what this is, but Natia has heard some crinkles and she is excited. Oh my God, cool. Okay, this is Tractive GPS Tracker for cats. Let's see what we're working with here. I'm going to reserve my judgment for now, but if this works well, I feel like it could be a really awesome gift for a, like a friend when they get a new dog. A dog warming gift, if you will. Even with indoor cats, I've been thinking of the ways in which I'm going to be able to use this. We love to walk our cats, especially, especially Natia. And I feel like this would be such a nice thing to bring on walks as an extra layer of security to have just just in case anything were to happen. You know, that's always kind of something in the back of my mind and knowing that I would be able to find Natia if she were to get off leash somehow is a great comfort. Anyway, back, back to the matter at hand. I've gone ahead and charged the tracker and I connected it to the app on my phone. I don't actually have a cat collar on hand, so I am going to improvise and use a tape measure so we can figure out how this works together. This part is the tracker itself, and as you can see, it's rather small. I'm actually gonna weigh it, just, just, just cause I'm curious. This is the scale that we use to measure coffee. All right. Oh wow, that's not, not even one and a half ounces. All right, so we've, we've established that the tracker is small and it is light, so that'd probably be great even for a little cat. 
And then we have this sleeve part, and this came with two, so I assume one is for backup. We are gonna pop the tracker in, and then we are going to thread the collar, or in this case, the tape measure, through like that. Super easy. I think what I'm going to do is come up with a crafty way to attach this to Natia's harness. It's like negative two degrees outside today, so we are not gonna be going on a walk right now, but just, just to see how fancy schmancy this gadget actually is, I have been moving the tracker around my house periodically, and I wanna show you how that shows up in the app. Granted, I've never tried a pet GPS tracker before, but I feel like this is really sensitive. And that's fantastic, that's exactly what you want, because if you do have to use it to find your animal, you're not gonna find a little cat wearing this if there's a big margin of error, so the accuracy with this bodes well. I will definitely report back after we take Miss Natia on a walk with her fancy new tracker. What's in the box? I don't even know what movie that's from. What's in the box? I feel like I reference it all the time and I, I don't know what it is. <gasps> no! I have been wanting one of these for so long, guys. So long. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Okay, this is from Glow Track, Collars and Cameras for Cats. And on the back it says, see the world from your cat's point of view. Finally, a camera small enough for felines, the Glow Track Cat Cam is a simple way to keep tabs on your tabby. Before we set this camera up, I do want to just give a shout out to the brand really quick because I don't think I have ever seen a company include instructions centered around a cat's comfort. I love, 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 love that they include this. The people who made this obviously know cats and obviously love them, and I really appreciate this sort of cat-forward guidance here. I think that's a really wonderful component to include. I watched the cat cam's short instructional video and have decided to give Natia a go with it first. Natia gave it a good sniff, a good lick, and then she let me put it on without a complaint. The collar is very cleverly designed and it was so easy to get on. Look how pretty she looks with her camera. And she's totally fine with it. She's so unbothered. It is really lightweight and the collar doesn't seem to be bugging her at all. Knowing me, I think it's safe to say that we'll be seeing a lot of cat camera POV videos from me in the very near future, but here's a few just to get you started. I've been wanting to have one of these for so long, but I've been a little nervous about doing a DIY version because I was afraid that I would use a camera that was too heavy for the cat. So having one specifically made for cats, mwah, chef's kiss. What's in here? I am so surprised that Dave hasn't tried to shred any of the cardboard yet. Oh, awesome. Q7 2K indoor security camera. Before having cats, I never actually used an indoor security camera, but since having cats, they have been such a godsend. I mean, of course we have a house sitter when we're gone, but even if we're just out for the day and we want to check in on the cats. I love being able to do that. It's so nice. I'm such a worry wart about my animals. Aren't I Gandalf? Yes, I am. And so having something like this is just, it's lovely. So I've just been playing around with this and I've never actually used a home security camera that has this kind of feature. It swivels this way and then I'm going to try so hard not to touch the lens. It also moves that way. That is really cool. I'm excited to see how this works. Reading the instructions, it also has a speaker on the back. What I'm wondering with this is if it swivels and tracks automatically or if that's something that I'm going to be able to control remotely from the app. I'm going to set it up and have a look. As it turns out, this is actually even cooler than I thought. Look at that range. I'm controlling this from my phone, rotating it side to side, up and down. This gives me so much more range than like a conventional fixed camera would do, which is going to be so helpful for cats that like to hide right out of frame. Looking at you, Gandalf. On to the next one. Guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love Tuft and Paw. This right here is from Tuft and Paw. It's such a beautiful centerpiece thing in our living room, and it really actually looks as new as it did the day we got it. We also have a Tuft and Paw litter box. 
right, right here. I will say that this is my favorite non-automatic litter box I've ever tried, and do you guys want to know a really funny and slightly embarrassing story about it? I'm gonna tell you anyway. So as you guys may know, I review litter boxes a lot. I'm always trying new ones, and one day I had to do a shoot, and I needed to move this one out of the bathroom. So I put my Tuft & Paw litter box outside, just gonna leave it out there for an hour or two. I forgot about it. I, <laughs> I left it outside, exposed to the Colorado elements for like, I wanna say a week, but I think it was actually two. And you know what? It was fine. It was completely fine. When I brought it back in, I wiped the dirt off and we were good to go. Now with the Tuft & Pop brand, their stuff is really nice. And I know that sometimes people think that it's too expensive or whatever, but if you're watching this, just know that you can leave one of those litter boxes out in the elements for two weeks and it'll be fine. So, you know, if that isn't good craftsmanship, I don't know what is. All right, so this is the Kip Cushion Short, Kip Cushion Wide. I, I like truly, truly adore this brand. Dave's like, cardboard! Ooh! Love, love the nice packaging. Dave, please don't eat the cardboard, my, my dude. This is what I'm talking about. That's, that is what I am talking about. When I say he shreds cardboard, I mean it. Dave, could you just, he doesn't eat it, mind you. He just shreds it and leaves it everywhere. What's in there, buddy? Dave already likes it, obviously. What are you doing? No, no, don't shred the cardboard. Don't eat it, bud. Don't eat it. He's like, get it out. I want to play with it. Oh, Guys, it's still in its bag and he already loves it. Well, I'm not gonna move him. All right, so, oh my God. Tuft and Paw, if you guys are watching this, can you make one of these human size for me, please? It's so soft. <gasps> Another thing, I'm a, I'm a Tuft & Paw stan, can you tell? Another thing I really love about Tuft & Paw is the fact that all of their stuff is really attractive. I think there's this misconception that if you have a bunch of pets, you can't have like an attractive home or an aesthetic home or whatever. And frankly, that's not true. And I loved Tuft & Paw because they make pieces that are well-made and that also just look really, really attractive in your home. <laughs> Gandalf, baby, you gotta open the box. Dave, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no! Big reveal. Oh, did they, they send us a big one and a little one? I love this. Well, Dave, obviously we have the Dave seal of approval. Dave, it's really hard to film when you just sit directly on the logo. Oh, buddy, do you like your bed? Don't eat the cardboard, dude. How do you like it? Do you like it? There's one over there too. Do you want to go into that one? It's just precariously balanced, but Dave's like, it's fine, it's all fine. I think I'm gonna have to put these ones in front of the fireplace. How amazing is that gonna, oh my God. I want one, I want one for me. <laughs> I want one for me. That is beautiful. Dave, do you want me to put it on the ground so you can lay in it a little bit more easily? Who needs, who needs a human reviewer? Just look at how the cats respond to it. Is that lovely? This is what you deserve. This is what you deserve, my baby. I love this because like multiple of them can fit in here and then we have like the perfect Natia sized one right there. Look at these two in their little beds in front of the fireplace. Like, I'm sorry, are you kidding me? How good is that? That is amazing. You may have glanced these in the video with Natia's camera, so I'm just gonna show you again because look at her. She is perfect. She's beautiful. What's in here? 
So this one, I actually wasn't supposed to open quite yet. This is for a different partnership, so this one's gonna be a mystery surprise for now. Ha! Well guys, this has been such fun. Thank you for joining me this week. I have really been enjoying posting more on YouTube and now that I've got the ball rolling, I am definitely gonna continue doing so and I hope you guys join me. So thank you again. Jackson's coming home tomorrow, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time.